definitely going to attract your kind of person so build values that thing that you want in a partner build it build that word and when you Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the time with me. Wow, it's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. And it's so nice to be back here on this space. <laughs> so I'm really been doing how are you? I was everything. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. You're welcome to my channel. Please do well to like. And subscribe if you've not and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back and here if, you, if you're a returning subscriber and you've not subscribed like that's very wrong please do well yeah to subscribe do well to subscribe so nice to be back yeah and today <laughs> so today i'll just have to like talk to someone in a toxic relationship someone you know battling with you know knowing their self-worth and actually knowing how some of us know how we want to be treated but some people don't even also like you know come out of that space where they are not treated the way they are meant to be treated so today we'll be talking about self-worth and mindset and this is like focusing on the relationship aspect like you know people always say there's no blueprint for every relationship like every every relationship is unique in its own way but still there's still some things that are still common in every relationship everyone knows how they want to be treated everyone wants to be treated nicely everyone everyone wants to be loved everyone wants to feel loved everyone wants the person they are with to treat them like you know ain't the egg you don't want it to break if you love someone you don't want to hurt them if you love someone you don't love to see them being hurt if you love someone you won't intentionally inflict pain on them so yeah knowing how in case if you are in that situation where you most times when you're not when you're not being treated right you know but most times people just probably because of low self-esteem or you feel like you don't deserve to be loved some, some people just stay in you know bad relationships for this reason so this video is majorly to like encourage someone encourage someone and and probably help someone view that self um, self love self worth self-esteem that they really need and the strength that they really need to like work out of that bad relationship or work out of the life of that person that is actually not treating them as nice as they should be treated and open the room for them and open you know open that opportunity for them to like meet someone better because if you're in a relationship with someone who's not treating you right there's a big probability that you would actually not meet the right person if you are still stuck with the wrong person so I hope this will bring vibration to somebody and help them. You know, now this video was actually inspired by a um I, I saw something, I saw a post online and I was actually looking for it on my phone, but I don't know. It's been a while I saw it. So I don't know, it got lost. But I know that was I would have loved to like read read the content. Like I, <laughs> I read a lot of stuff like that, so I can't really say, oh, this and this is it, but just I don't I know I know that that's what brought about this topic. So the first point I have here, if I always say, oh, everything, I always centering around God, like everything I have, when you are going in one direction, next thing you are bringing God in, like my life is all about God. God is the center of my life. So when I'm, when I'm seeing something, even when it comes to anything, God has to reflect because really is the anchor, is the one leading me through life. So the first point here is if you love God, like if you claim that you love God genuinely and you have felt God's love, then you it will teach you how to love yourself. Yes, if you if you come from a family that shows so much love, you would know what love is. And when you are looking out for his for a partner or a spouse, like you would not go for someone who would not you know make you feel as loved as when your parents, when your siblings are giving you so much love. You know that whole person you are getting, you want to get married to, the person you want to settle down with. You know that you want this person to treat you as sweet as they can as they can treat you, and you would not settle for less. So once that's why it's so important to love God. When you love God, He would love you. you no, know, God loved us first. So they were not even expecting love from God because He already loved us. He loved us even when we're still sinners. So God's love has always been there for us. So if you understand how much God loves you, if you understand how God, how much 
God's love is patient, His love is kind, His love is never envious, His love gives you room to, you know, explore and be yourself. God's love opens you to so much opportunities. God's love, like, God's love is so, hey, can you just sit down and just imagine God's love? Can you, that's kind of love you should also expect from someone. So if you are with someone that is not kind to you, if you are with someone that is always putting you down and talking you down, they know they are in, in very, they are in the wrong space. So if you can love yourself and see love from God's angle, then you would know the kind of love to expect from somebody. And you know, from God's love, you can get, when you know your identity in Christ, when you know, when you know your identity in Christ, then you know that you're not meant to settle for less when it comes to things like this. So get yourself so engrossed and deep in God's love that it, be, it it becomes a part of you, it becomes your nature and you know how to give love to people and you expect that same love from people but if you don't even know how what love is, if you feel like love is just about being in a relationship with someone and calling them your partner, then you are wrong and when this person they are calling your partner is not treating you the way they are meant to treat you, they are not showing you love in the God in, in in the way God wants them to show you love, then you're actually in the very wrong place. If you are in a place where they're always talking down on you, eating you, or there's no encouragement. If you're with somebody, that person should be your number one fan. That person should be someone that when you need someone to talk to, you can actually go to that person. And the person is always there to like just encourage you. You know that even when you need that, like even if it's just one more that you need, that person is always there to like, you know, push you and let you know that when you don't even see because that, that sometimes when you feel so overwhelmed that you don't even believe in yourself, that person should be actually actually be that person that believes in you, that that, that makes you see the good part of you. But if you are not with someone, if you are with someone that kills your dreams with their mouth, that doesn't even encourage your little ideas, then that is not love. That is also one thing I know again is like the second point here is in loving yourself. You in loving yourself the right way because some people claim to love themselves, but they are just selfish. Love is not selfish. Love would always put you would always put people before yourself if you claim that you love them. Because if I'm if, I'm, if I want to make a, a, a decision, a very crucial decision, I would actually think of how would this decision affect my family because I know they love me. How would this decision affect my partner because I know he loves me. So if you claim to love someone, like there's a way you you like you love yourself, but you are just being selfish and. You're not loving the right way but if you claim to love yourself the right way you would build values you will build what when you when you when you when you know come when you love yourself and from loving yourself you begin to know your identity you know how you begin to see yourself how god sees you when god has called you a chosen generation god has called you a priceless possession when something is priceless then it gives so much value when god is telling you that you have so much value you have so much potential in you then you you begin to see yourself in that light you begin to see yourself in that light you begin to you you know you build so much value you you in your head you know who you are you know what you can do you know your capacity you know what god has called you to be so even when you want to settle for something that's why most times I went for a program one time and they asked me that, oh, like now you have five people asking you out. You have five people saying, oh, God said you're my wife. God said, God said, like, how are you going to pick? And I'm like, oh, I'm never going to, number one, I'm never going to pick from my own knowledge. I'm not going to pick from, oh, this is my spec. I want him dark, tall and handsome. I want him that. I want him this. I want him to have like five cars before I can say yes. I would not pick from that aspect. Let's not say, oh, I'm not picking from. I'm going to pick from a place of my identity. I'm going to pick from a place of what I know, who I know that I am in Christ. My identity in Christ to help me pick a life partner because I know that once you don't fit in into what God has called me to be, once you don't fit in into who I know that I am, or you don't fit into my, my identity in Christ, then I know that you are out of the way. Like so, if you know your identity, if you know if you know who you are in Christ, even when it comes to like saying yes to somebody, you are going to put that in place. You are going to put that in place because you are like, ah, we don't click. So when when they even say you don't click, it is beyond general type. Oh, because there are so many AA and AA that are, that are married and their relationship and their marriage is nothing to write home about. So many AA and AA that are in a relationship and their relationship is nothing to write home about. But because it is beyond having the same general type, it's beyond your blood matching and everything. It is even more into um AA, yes, general type is very important, but what is a matching general type um and 
and there's no there's no like your identity everything is clashing purpose is clashing your mindset the way you guys think is clashing your religious belief is clashing then you know that there's a big problem so when it comes to things like this when it comes to making decisions like this when it comes to building values and settling down with someone yes there are so many people in church who are pretending to be who they are not but as long as you have a very good relationship with god and you are taking him you know with you every step of the way then there's no way you are going to make a mistake as long as you know that oh when it comes to choosing i am going to drop my spec i'm going to drop what i want i'm going to drop what i feel like is right for me and go according to god's god's um real for me then you are definitely not going to make a mistake i feel like i'm already you know moving from my point so what i'm saying is once you build values for yourself build values for yourself don't just say them with your mouth let it reflect in your life so they usually say um same same things attract each other and really you've seen that in some marriages you've seen that in some relationship and even friendship because if my circle of friends are people that I know that we can think alike. I cannot be with my friends and I cannot say something because I feel like, because I know that we are not on the same page. I cannot be friends with people who I cannot be free to say, oh, God told me this, or I, this is what God is telling me to. I cannot, people that I cannot be free to like share God. Not like my friends, always, always we talk about God or purpose or everything. We have fun and we talk about random things, but I don't want to be in, in the midst of friends that, their communications are corrupting my thoughts. They are corrupting my mind. I want to build those values. Let your values attract. Some of us want good things, but our values, our way of life and everything is saying direct opposite. You begin to see yourself in that light. When something that is not looking like what God has told you that this is who your husband is going to be or this is what... This is how your husband is going to be, and the qualities he's going to have. Or if you are saying this is the quality, these are the qualities I want to see in my husband. And when the person that is not looking like it comes, you know that no. No matter how fancy you might look, this is not what God has told me about my husband. This is not the person I know that God has told me that I'm going to be um, that I'm going to get married. So I actually wrote something down in my in my notes. I wrote when you know your when you know God for yourself, you would see your words in God's eyes and not in view in God's eyes and in view of how he sees you and not in view or words of anybody like you know what god like that is that would be what that would be your focus that would be what is you know carrying you that would be what is pushing you and one thing i know again is that your definition of love is is a reflection of the kind of love that you will give to others like how much when when, when the bible says that love your neighbor as you love yourself like it is the way i love myself that i'll be able to love my neighbor it's how i love myself i'll be able to love my partner it's how i love myself i'll be able to love everyone around me so if my love is toxic even my own love to myself is, is is a toxic one then obviously that's kind of love i'm going to give to others some people really want to love god because of the kind of love that they or the way they understand love to be it's the same way they're giving love to the people around them so it's really not their fault so can you just allow god to teach you what love is let god help you through you know breaking building self self words because there's so many things that i hear about and i'm like hmm like what's going on here i i don't i can't even understand some when i see some some stories online i am i am, I am shocked i'm like What's going on? Like you don't even need even a, I feel like even the one year old knows, knows that this thing is wrong. Like, see, what are you doing here? Oh bro, what are you doing here? But it just seem like because of the the, the the level of their self worth, they just feel like, oh, if I leave now, where am I going to? If I leave now, who's going to accept me? If I leave now, I'm definitely going to go in, you know enter into something like this again so why did i just stay here with someone that i know as people will say that the angel that you know before is other than the devil that you are just meeting that kind of thing so i just pray for someone who needs deliverance who needs to be pulled out from you know bad mindsets people who need their self-worth to be built i pray that you would find god's love and it will teach you how to value yourself it will teach you it would it would help you see yourself through his eyes you would would help you see yourself how he sees you and help you build these values that you need and i pray that as you build these values the one who god has planned for you would locate you and i pray for whoever is in a bad relationship a relationship that needs to be broken i pray that god would visit such relationships and bring liberty and freedom to such souls in the name of jesus thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching until i see you now before we go like i said in the beginning of the video if you're not subscribed to my channel you're very wrong <laughs>
please subscribe like share comment yeah tell someone about talk time with zami and make sure that they subscribe and watch at least a video yeah thank you so much for watching till i see you in my next video bye